Hello again. One of the things which most white people failed utterly to realise is the good proportion of people living in Britain and the United States live effectively in a parallel universe. It's got its own history, ideology and so on and it's entirely separate and distinct from the world which the rest of us inhabit. There's such an immeasurable gulf between the actual and objective world and this imaginary realm that the two seldom interact or even come into contact with each other. In the world in which most of us live, civilization arose in the Fertile Crescent and then spread out from there, chiefly into Europe. Contemporaneously, civilization arose in China, that means at the same time. Almost all the important inventions and developments in science, politics, uh, religion, philosophy, mathematics and so on, have been made in Europe, Asia and North America, uh, most of whose people have their origin in Europe. Because of this, a number of people of African descent have crafted an alternative history in which they and their ancestors um, invented most of these things and they were really responsible for civilization's achievements. Um, they've been cheated out of these things by wicked white people. This idea was quite popular in the 1960s and 70s with black Muslims of America. Uh, there's a, a whole theory here about the white devils and the ice people and the sun people. I won't go into it now. If anyone interested in that sort of lunacy can find enough about it on the internet. But the idea of the black civilizations giving rise to all these things and spreading into Europe really took off in 1987 with a book called Black Athene. In the years since publication of Black Athene, the invention of black history has really taken off until a large number of people now believe that Euclid, the Greek mathematician, was black, that Africans colonised the Americas before Columbus crossed the Atlantic Ocean, and that a father of the internet was African. Uh, most ordinary people remain oblivious to these ideas, but they're hugely popular with black people. Here, for example, is someone most of you will never have heard of, but he's fairly well known among devotees of this particular crank theory of history. This is Philip Emiaguali, that's E-M-E-A-G-W-A-L-I. Emiaguali. He's Nigerian, he's Igbo. Um, according to him, he's a doctor or professor, but no one's really got any record of that. He believes, and he's persuaded a lot of people, that his work with computers was a key part in the creation of the internet. The truth is he was studying for a PhD in Michigan in America, and the university wouldn't grant him his doctorate whereupon he took various legal actions and made appeals um, on the grounds that denying him his doctorate was a violation of his civil rights. I have to say I quite like that one. The idea that um, being granted a doctorate is a civil right that we might all be able to have. Anyway, he appears on black history sites as a father of the internet. Why do these mad ideas flourish so readily among black people in particular and ethnic minorities in general? Nobody really knows. Research has shown that black people in America have an alarming propensity to fall for conspiracy theories, whether they concern the origin of AIDS or black history or the idea that the moon landings were faked. It could be a combination of factors such as educational attainment or lack of it, um, social class, poverty and perhaps um, intelligence as well, or indeed lack of it. It's certainly the case any weird idea has a better chance of being believed by black people than white. In the description of this video I give um, a few references for this. I suggest that people check them out, check the references out, 
and then when they've done that look at the references given in those journal pieces because that will give you a further line on what I'm talking about here yeah it's it's an interesting topic indeed this phenomenon makes it all the more difficult to discuss the world rationally with um, some certain people the adherence to conspiracies conspiracy theories has an almost religious fervor at times when one of those crackpot conspiracy theories is founded upon race as in the case with black history you have to be very careful because even asking too many questions about it is liable to have one branded as a racist which for many people is a terrifying prospect today let me end by remarking i'm not of course saying anything as crass as old black people are gullible and they'll believe any theory or any wild idea while white people are all sensible and balanced it's not like that at all it's not the case that all black people believe uh, that the earth is flat or that the moon landings were uh, fate and that white people don't this is a question of percentages you need to do a statistical analysis these um, percentages are s statistically significant so it means that crazy ideas will get around more in the black community one of the um, references I give in the description involves research with black community leaders and it was found that they were just as liable to this as anybody else which is alarming because it means that if a young black person consults a community leader he might be told a lot of foolishness so it's certainly something which is a little worrying <laughs>